achieving orbit now. You hold something you have no right to. My people have killed for this. But I will offer you one chance to hand over the artifact and turn away from this path. That's not any type of ship I recognize. ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grav drive now, we have a chance. We'll get through this. Hold on!
got a little crazier. Deeper. I could, uh, really bend your ear when you got a moment. I gotta admit, I'm, you got time for a quick chat? I'd appreciate it when you're able. Any day you make it through is a victory in my book. Yeah, sorry if I'm a little out of it. Didn't get much sleep last night. Lillian and me, well, I tried talking with her and I lost my cool. Got a little heated. I know I woke Cora up. Well, up until a few years ago, she kept hoping we'd get back together. I mean, Lillian and I stayed married longer than we should have for Cora's sake. But we really weren't doing Cora any favors there. Well, that statement's gonna keep me up at night, like everything, everything? Just so you know, there's a long, uh, proud tradition of singing in the shower. Ah, Lillian. She's an incredible woman. Truly. But it is always, and I mean always, about the job. When she bleeds, free star colors spill out. And back when I was a ranger, we were quite the team. Yeah, I'm meant to be on my own. Exploring the great beyond. It calls to me. Maybe it's Solomon saying hello. But one day... I was just done. No particular reason. It had been building for a long time. See, I tried to convince Lillian to leave it behind, come with me. She shot me down. Hard. Hurt my pride. More than a little. But she was probably right. Eh, we were making each other miserable. And that war on poor Cora, too. It's funny, our latest argument started because Lillian thinks I'm putting Cora in too much danger traveling with you. I told her what you told me, that Cora is just blossoming with all this. With Sarah, you, heck, even Walter. I just know Cora has futures I could never dream of. But Lillian, not so much a fan of you. That kind of set me off. Nah, don't be. It's always something. Cora's been stood up a time or two by Lillian. Always for the best reasons. Last time I think Lillian got a medal for it. But at a certain point, Lillian's excuses don't matter. Poor Cora cried for a week. I don't want to put her through that again. You are just too damn wise for your own good. Well, something to think about. And for now, Lillian's going straight to voicemail. So everyone can sleep easy. Here's the closest thing Cora has to home. Not bad, right?
this here. It's a little patch of heaven. How is Neon? Are you... are you okay? Okay. I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... Is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. I call themselves... The Starborn demanded we hand over the artifact, like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony, finally popping its head up? Uh, another house for room? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life, or extra-dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. You do have a way with words. Ah, I knew our little family was gaining a class act when I shoved that artifact in your hands. Noel, start analyzing all the data from the ship sensors. The gravitational wave they caused, scans of their weapons, shields, everything. We're in the dark. We need to learn anything about them we can, including some way to fight them if necessary. Until then, we stay the course, collect the artifacts, it's even more important now that an intelligence we don't know or understand is looking for them. That ship could be anywhere in deep space. Even if we got lucky, a single grav jump and we'd lose them. All we can do is be more cautious, but we are not stopping. This could end up being a race we don't want to lose. Vladimir, has the eye picked up anything new? Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. All right. Good luck, everyone. And be careful out there. Still need to lift Can another set today. Been dragging. Shoulder stiff. Always. Point the way and we'll be off. Switching me out for the big boss, huh? I see how it is. Well, of course. How else do you expect anything to be done correctly? You 
had a hell of a shake, getting bullied in the void. Starborn sure know how to make an entrance. Ready to head back out there? The Eye can help you find the artifacts, but I'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor. No telling the exact number, but they're getting harder to find. Got some equipment, repairs, and upgrades on the making-do list. The eye's straining to her limits these days. Double-check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous, even without some nefarious group trying to kill you. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Captain, now that you are a member of Constellation, I am at your service. No additional protocols necessary. Also, given the likelihood that you will be out in unsettled space, it might be beneficial to go over exploration outpost development in case you ever need to build a base for field research. Exploration of an unknown planet can be a major undertaking. By building an outpost, you will be able to construct scanning equipment, resource extractors, and defenses. It is even possible to set up multiple outposts capable of manufacturing, allowing you to build advanced equipment. The blueprints you need to construct an outpost should already be on your watch. It will automatically connect to any available materials for construction in your ship's cargo. Captain, I will proceed to my assigned post.
Anything I can help you with? I do for you. I'm sure you can find something you like. Okay, no problem. Yeah? Hey, kind of breaking my concentration here. Guess we're New Atlantis' first line of defense against heat leeches now. We see any on your ship? Yes? Want to see what I'm carrying? Bye-bye.
If it belongs on your ship, then I'm sure we have it for sale. I know we're safe now, but I'm still a little jittery. Can't help but worry about more of those things attacking. Oh, please, take a look. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. <laughs> 